Hello, it's Commander Ricardo, and I'm on approach towards a Thargoid base in HIP 149092A. Now, we've all been stunned by the visuals and the alien architecture of the base as it stands, but there is a bit of a graphics glitch. But before we get into that, can I ask you to hit the subscribe and the like button if you like what you see. Also, take a look at the notification icon as well. That will tell you exactly when I put new videos up, and you won't miss another video like this one. Now Frontier have put an awful lot of work into the Thargoid base and I'm quite surprised that this glitch has actually been allowed to be put in. Of course you can drive around the base in your SRV and you have to have certain objects like an unknown probe and an unknown artifact or an unknown artifact to gain entry. And of course if you put those modules into the central device then what you can do is you can then access the star map and it's fantastic. However, I was messing around and I was able to fly my ship into the structure. Now a lot of you may be able to say, ah well that's not a big thing, you know we've been doing that with the camera. And you are, that's right, you can do, right? But to get your ship inside, you do get a kind of unique perspective of the inside, what with the ship's lighting, on the interior structure of the alien map room. Now I wasn't able to shoot anything, otherwise for hell I tried. Um, you can't shoot those scavengers. And I thought, well, perhaps I've just been able to gain access to the central structure. But oh no, you can fly around the entire structure in your ship, giving it the advantage of your high beams. Now, this is a bit of a shame with the game. I think, you know, it's taken the shine off it a little bit because you're just able to fly your ship in there and have a look around. Okay, you can't land and you can't get your SRV out and in turn, then you can't drop your items in there okay to to access the device or at least i haven't tried perhaps you can i don't know it'd have to be a, an awful lot of good aiming with that cargo bay for you to do that and perhaps some commanders have already done it i don't know um but i found this and i was quite surprised that this was allowed to happen so here i am i'm flying through the wall now and you can see the tunnel structure around the circumference of the base and all the little anti-chambers off it Again, a unique perspective on the inside of the Thargoid base and its architecture. Now I'm assuming Frontier obviously thought, well, people aren't going to want to fly into a base after getting all this way with all your cargo in it. Um, and it was only by chance that I was able to do it. I was just trying to, to land in the aperture at the middle of the base, uh, the, the orifice sort of aperture uh, right in the middle. Um, and to get some shots of me flying out and flying away. And, and for whatever reason, I slipped on the keyboard, I wasn't paying attention, and here I am in the structure. So as we all know, with the SRVs, the damage and collision detection works perfectly. You can't drive into it in your SRV. Um, so I'm a little bit surprised that you're able to fly in there with your ship. So there it is, I've said it, and, and you can just fly straight in. Now, whether this is um, a recent glitch I don't know, I don't know if things are being patched as we go. I don't I haven't seen any patches come in or any updates. And I know we're we've got 2.4 impending any day. The beta's finished. This is actually in 2.3. Uh, I was playing in solo mode because I'm at the base and I don't want my my ship destroyed by commanders and scrupulous commanders who are out there after a quick bounty. But getting into the central room, again, you know. The ability to use the camera is one thing, but to fly a ship around? Again, that's something else. So once in the central chamber, I thought, well, okay, let's turn the lights on. And there you are, it's, it's more illuminated than what you could have possibly had, either using a filter in your video editing software, or by using your SRV lights, which to be fair, oh, they do the job, but they're pretty pretty useless really. Um, so the ship wasn't affected by coming near the structure, it wasn't shut down or anything. I guess I flew straight in and I was able to get these shots. So 
So there you go. Um, I'll leave you with these shots. Come on, Frontier. Take care of business. This shouldn't have been allowed to have happened. You've got a fantastic game out there. And what's the point if you just fly your ship into some of your, your best kept secrets? So I've been Ricardo, and this has been Elite Dangerous and a graphics glitch at the Thargoid base. I may not be the first to have said this, but I've put a video up and I think people deserve to know because glitches like this need to be fixed. And with the impending 2.4 update, let's hope they have done something with the collision detection at these sites. So please look out for any new videos in the series, more Elite videos to come, and we're very excited about Elite Dangerous 2.4. And here are some of the stills I've taken in the area. See you soon and fly safe.